Today I'm going to show you how to use the Mapbox search macro for Alteryx Designer. This macro allows you to perform forward and reverse geocoding. Forward is converting strings into coordinates, and reverse is converting coordinates into strings such as addresses, cities, countries, neighborhoods, etc. The workflow we're going to build is very simple. It's like this. We're going to take some addresses, pass it through the Mapbox search geocoder, and output our points on a map and look at a record that failed. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how it works. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some data. Now I have just some addresses here. You can see we have one that's designed to fail and a whole bunch of other ones in the state of Washington. I'm gonna limit it to 100 to make this go a little quicker. And then we're gonna download it from the gallery. Now you can see this macro is right here. So you can download it from here or you can download it directly inside of Alteryx. And so you select uh, search, and then it will come down. You can take a look at it if you'd like, or we can just add it directly to our workflow with insert macro mapbox search. Then your configuration will pop up, and this is where the fun happens. So we're gonna pick our search type. You can select from any of these. Our data is at the address level, so we're gonna select that. We're going to change our max results to one. This will allow us to pick just the best result that comes back. If your data is a little fuzzier, you can use fuzzy match and then in combination with higher max results to make sure that you have enough data to parse downstream uh, if you need to filter or identify through other means. Now the next most important piece is your Mapbox access token. You can find that inside of your Mapbox account. I've created one specifically here for this use case. It just has to start with a PK. So I'll copy that, come over to Alteryx, paste it in, and we're ready to get started. Now you may see this little error here with these two uh, notes. You can just ignore them. This is because it's looking for fields that don't exist yet because we haven't actually queried the API endpoint. Next thing we're going to do is add browse modules to the end so we can see the data that comes out as well as see it on map. You can also look in the configuration screen for, you have a whole other number of options that will help you refine your data, whether it's proximity bias or bounding box. We're not gonna use any of that today, but you are welcome to do that. So the next thing that you're gonna do is run it. Now, this is passing all of our addresses up to the Mapbox geocoding API, and it will return the data that, from Mapbox out as a, uh, as a spatial object, or in this case, it's failed, so you can go back and refine it some more if you want to try it again. You can now see those points rendered on the brand new Mapbox map uh, inside of Alteryx Designer. And you can see here the results that we have. So here's the address. Now here's the result ID. If we had more than one, you would see one, two, three, uh, up to 10 for each individual address if there's more than one. Feature name is the data that how we match the query that you gave us. The place type, in this case, it's address. The accuracy, which is the fidelity with which we place the geocode on the space, such as the in this case, uh, an address, and then relevance, which is how closely we've matched the data that you gave us to the data we have in our database. The last piece is the latitude and longitude, which we output. We also output a centroid so that you can do geospatial operations inside of Alteryx. Now, one thing to note is that this does require all the feature flag turned on in your account. We're more than happy to help you set that up, or if there's anything else we can do, you can read about it here on the Mapbox Solutions page, or just get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you.